any concept that does not exist has to constantly be renegotiated by the parties involved. What concepts am I talking about? Relationships, the government, laws, and every other thing, like even the relationship with your mind and your body has to constantly be renegotiated. If you just fill your body with junk, it is going to destroy you one day. Maybe not today, maybe not 10 days hence, but maybe 10 years down the line. If you do not control your mind and take feedback from it and develop a relationship with it, renegotiate every single day, it is going to destroy you. Same with the government. Now let us talk about it at the governmental level, right? Uh, the left always assumed that their way was right, right? They always thought that this is the way and there is no other way to live, thereby ignoring the right. They did not even let the right sit on the negotiating table. And then you have someone like Donald Trump come and sit on top of your head, which almost nobody likes, right? So this is how it works. Every time you disrespect something, every time you disrespect someone that you think is your enemy, it is going to come and fester and destroy you. I'm not saying you have to respect everyone, but at least let them have a say. Right? All negotiation, all concepts are generally meant for the betterment of society. Right? We create these concepts and we have negotiations so that there is less blood. So remember, no lifestyle, no existence is lower than anything. Right? Even when yourself, even with yourself, when you're renegotiating with yourself, when you're thinking about adding a habit to your lifestyle, when you're thinking about becoming a better personality, when you're practicing public speech or something like that, you're adding and subtracting, adding and subtracting, you are renegotiating. Every time you do not renegotiate, every time you are not resilient, it will create problems. It will create problems in your life and life in society in general. The problem is we have forgotten to respect our opponents. The best way to avoid bloodshed is to respect your opponents. And if possible, do not put someone in such a position that they have to negotiate abstract concepts and deal with hard realities. Do not reproduce.